It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. Yo, hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. It's your favorite toy guy here with another cool video, another spectacular toy. Not sure how rare this is, but I've never had it before, believe it or else. <laughs> so, as always, before we get comfy, kick back in that chair of yours, grab a drink, Park your keister in the most comfortable Barco lounger you can find and grab your steaming cup of coffee. Blow off the steam. <sighs> now take a sip. <sighs> ah, isn't that delicious? Delicious and nutritious. And grab a nice breakfast burrito so you can focus, pay attention now because we're going to look at something... Then I always ask myself, again, the same question. Why the hell did I buy this thing? <sighs> By the way, because it's late afternoon, I can't have coffee or I'll never sleep. But I am fortifying myself with some body armor. I wonder if it's making me stronger. It says superior hydration as opposed to regular hydration. It means I'm extra hydrated, I guess. Anyway, anyway, uh, I unveiled these two in a very, well, not very short, but a short live stream. Because you know what? Didn't have any viewers, but, you know, I have to get on a consistent schedule. I don't know what would work for me. You guys tell me in the comments. What would be a good time? Weekday, weekend? You know, I would do more live streams if I had, you know, like a couple of dozen people maybe watching or a hundred people. But, you know, for like five or, you know, it's a little like, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I did uh, have this sitting around, man, for months, probably since last year, believe it or not, in the the box within the shipping box with another toy, which I unveiled in the live stream. And I needed two more videos. This is late March I'm making this video, and I'm posting it probably for April. And then we go on our cruise. We'll be gone about a month. And uh, so, you know, I was committed to making three videos per week, toy videos, so that, you know, I'm consistent in that respect. Anyway, with all that BS out of the way, this is a really cool Highway Patrol, and uh, I got it actually out of Japan. Freaking massive. Let me get my tape measure, too. Just for my own curiosity. I got two tape measures here, like one of those big industrial sized ones in this one. First of all, this box, which looks freaking brand new. Ah, let's see, the box alone is 16, is that 16? Like 16 and a quarter inches by seven and a half. So it's a big pup. This is made by Yonazawa and it depicts which is a clearly a 19, at least 58 car by the design of the box because 1958 was the first year of quad headlights on cars where it was legal because um, they did not legalize quad headlights up until that year. So in 57 and prior, you had one single round headlight. Now, some people may like the sig signal headlight, sing signal, <laughs> single. And some people might like the double. I myself like them both ways. It depends on the car. <laughs> like on the Corvette, like I like a 57 Corvette single headlight as opposed to the 58. But you know, it's per personal preference. On the Cuda, I love 71 Cuda. My favorite, obviously, have the car. Um, Way better than the single headlight. But some people really love the single headlight Kudas. Now, on the Camaros, right, you got like 67 through 69 Camaro single headlight. But you got the Firebirds with the Duel. So it's all a matter of preference. Anyway, so here's the car drawn here. The side is just text, you know, font. Nice script. Looks like a script you would see almost in a uh, uh, the car itself, like an emblem. And here is the block font on the end and that's pretty much it you know they didn't they didn't have like a nice scene for a box so big now the car is drawn really well i mean it would be a nice painting actually of a kind of a police car but like 
no landscaping, no buildings. <laughs> you know, I mean, it could have could have done something a little more elaborate. So, say 1958, maybe 59. It could be could be 59, but I, I'm going to stick with 58. The car, however, uh, the car to me, and I said this in my um, in my live stream review. First of all, it's a Ford. I wasn't sure if it was a Ford or Chevy, but according to the hubcaps, it says Ford. Um, the grill to me can go either way. Um, but the headlights on the car are single. <laughs> so I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the shape. And to me, this looks like, a, a, on, honestly, like a 57 Chevy. You know, the fin in the Streamline era and the single headlights. So did they have some leftover cars and they just made a new box for it? I have no idea. Um, it's a minor distinction, but who the heck knows? Maybe they had the leftover cars and they were like, you know what, how do we jazz it up for the 1958 model year? Well, you know, let's change the box. Make it look like we're gonna sell a 58 toy, but then we'll use our 57 or 56 or even 55 because they were all relatively the same. Now, anyway, I like I said, I have such limited space. There's no way I could put this anywhere other than the closet. But having said that, I, you know, I kept saying, why am I a sucker for police cars? I can't tell you how many freaking police cars. And finally it dawned on me, you know what? It's just their elaborate designs. They're two-tone. They have tons of graphic elements on them. And they have lighting elements on them. And uh, sometimes like auxiliary elements like the sirens and the spotlights. So it's just much more embellished than a normal car would be. And that's why I personally dig them, you know, as opposed to like if this was just a regular plain car. So with the, these features, I mean, like, look, you know, with the with the headlight up top, it just adds such a cool dimension. Now, being friction, it's not battery. You're not going to actually have any light there, but it's still, a, from a design perspective, I think nice. And again, you have lithography that you normally wouldn't have like in this case it's a highway patrol you have like this badge thing going on here and here's the back here's your yonazawa logo they should have put something like pd and then a number nice big fat chrome bumpers which you know those cars are famous for and again you got two-tone black and white here's your siren on here and if I can get to the front, like I think I already showed you, this thing is in pristine condition. The chrome is pretty good, or the bright work. I don't know if they actually chrome that nice hood ornament. Looks like a rocket old. And if I can get a shot, man, this is highly detailed in there. Let's see if I can sneak this camera. And uh, let's see. See that? Man, that is like a lot of attention to detail. The dash. There's a lot of things going on there. The seats. You know, these are things they don't have to necessarily do, but they did it. And the bottom is shiny, shiny, shiny. Here's the embossed Yonazawa. I mean, look at it. It's like reflecting like a mirror. So this looks like new old stock in all honesty. And think about it. 1950, we'll, we'll give it 1958. That's still 66. Six, 66 year old toy that looks like this. I mean, hell, the way I'll keep it, it'll last another 66 years. Let me zoom back out. So I don't have a lot of room on this table to show you, but listen to the siren sound. <laughs> That is a freaking proper siren sound, man. I'll do it one more time. <laughs> You gotta love it. And will it actually go? Now imagine a kid, you know, you're watching all those cop shows. And I don't mean like Mayberry, RFD, um, maybe Dragnet. Well, I'm trying to think of the early cop shows. And that was the classic, classic siren sound. Um, and by the way, let me measure the car car itself is 15 freaking inches. Look at that. 
you know? So it's a shame. You know, once I kind of have a handle on things, I do have a couple, well, one, two display cases. I'm waiting for my Behringers to arrive, Mr. Mike has and all. <laughs> so when I get my final two Behringers, I'm going to have four up top. And then I will um, have some extra room on the side. And maybe I could put some of these bigger vehicles like this up top there. But I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. That's the problem. And they, they have such a large footprint. But anyway, that's a look at your Highway Patrol Plus Number 6 if you go by the car. Or just friction-powered Highway Patrol if you go by the box. Let me know what you think. Do you dig these uh, police cars? service vehicles even the fire cars are cool i think the fire cars are actually rare and they're going to be red and still have cool elements so um if you like it do me a favor thumb up the video leave a remark tell me what you think with that thank you for your time it's greatly appreciated and i my friends will talk to you later